Hey, it's Chris Fifo again. Just want to make sure if you haven't checked out my propagation videos, check it out. About eight weeks ago, we propagated Salvia Nemorosa Blue Bayou. Some good tips, some good hints there on successful propagation. But here we are eight weeks later and we're ready to transplant our liners. Now, I just opened up this box for my supplier. These are actively growing, but some suppliers are offering dormant plugs too, in which case you might see more yellowing on the leaves or whatnot, but not a real concern. Thing about salvia is though, it's a very leafy crop. And as these grow, we can tell here, I didn't get to transplanting these on time. These would have been ready in six weeks, but instead here I am eight weeks. These have started to bolt a little bit, in which case normally I'm not going to have to pinch a salvia, but these, since they're bolting, I'm gonna to need to trim these off before transplant. I wanna inspect my plugs, just make sure there's no disease. Being in a box, you know, bounced around by FedEx and the heat can sometimes cause some issues. I really don't see any of that in here. I also wanna inspect salvia nemorosis for spider mites. These are definitely number one on my spider mite watch list. I do not see the telltale damage that's speckling on the leaves. I can lift up the bottom of the leaves and they do look very clean. So these are ready for transplant. They're good and moist. Like I said, they are very nicely rooted, if not a little bit too far gone. And so as I transplant my salvias, I gotta remember, these are kind of a rosette type of crop. It's got kind of a low crown, so I gotta make sure I don't bury these. Otherwise, we're gonna have some losses if we get some media on top of that crown. When I'm done transplanting, these can go out into my normal perennial houses. So 50 degrees would be just fine at night, maybe even a little bit cooler. But generally, I like to have a little bit warmer Get these things active really quickly. Get them rooted out into the containers before I drop my temperatures too much. We're back five weeks later with our crop of Salvia Blue Bayou, and we're right on the verge of flower initiation now. So where do you think we're at the stage of this crop right now, Darren? I think we're in really good shape. Um, I would apply a, a PGR just to tone them up as a, as a preventative, and then uh, watch, for, you know, watch for flowering. And then also we need to probably cool them down a little bit, maybe to 55 degrees to yeah. uh, let them tone up and uh, fill out real nice. I agree, yeah, a little bit of B9 cycles out this stage. We want to do it preventatively, like Darren said. We don't want to wait till they're stretched. We can't shrink them after they're already tall, so this is a great stage. We can see the flower buds just starting right. to come up on some of these, and so to keep those shorter, more toned, perfect time to apply a little bit of B9 cycle cell. Like I said, cool them off. I think this is gonna be a great crop. One more thing, also, we don't want to forget about spider yeah, mites. We gotta look at Always. spider mites. As salvias are a magnet for spider mites, so we're gonna inspect the underside of the leaves. Everything looks really clean. I think we're in good shape. As Chris mentioned, they're on a biological program here, which is a great thing. Um, so I think we're be, these will finish out just fine. What do you think, Chris? Yeah, I think we're right on schedule for these. It's gonna be a beautiful finish, Darren. Yes, agreed.